Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on May 10th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do. Sharing space weather events as well earthquakes, volcanoes and looking at world weather. Very active day across the planet as you can see here. We are already going through an R3 radio blackout storm across Central America. Elongated pulse from the X-Class solar flare today. If you haven't seen that quick update video, please check it out. Some amazing visuals coming from our sun as we had an Earth-directed solar flare. And just recently, we had a pretty sizable earthquake here. 6.8 earthquake, San Antonio de los Cobros. And that was after a pretty deep earthquake through the region. I was actually going to put out a warning video after this earthquake rung out. Hoya, 5.4 earthquake in Hoya, Argentina. But this was at a 579 kilometer depth. So I was going to put out an earthquake warning video. Give you a heads up for this large earthquake that I was expecting. And I'm sure others were as well. But a 6.8 is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's the largest earthquake we've seen in some time, maybe even two months. So yeah, we're going to start out here, give a quick look here at our sun the last 48 hours, give you an update. Not much has changed since the X-Class solar flare. Solar X-ray flux is winding down after that energy pulse. But still watching pretty active region here behind as well a cresting equatorial region lots of plasma associated with that and you can see a couple shots taking off there and now iswa has updated its space prediction spiral having a look here at the signet streamer showing the cme that took off from the west side of our sun and that was directed at Mercury. And then the solar flare from today, that was directed right at our planet. And as well, Mercury. So fast-moving solar flare. Space weather event expected. 16th, 15th into the 16th of May. after that amazing solar flare. Quick look around the world for earthquakes. The last 24 hours, USGS is reporting about 240 earthquakes. Very active South America. Very deep earthquake here. Quiet Ar Argentina. And then San Antonio de los Cobros, 6.8 earthquake. Activity here through South Sandwich Islands, as well as Scotia Plate. 5.4s. Activity through Central America as well. Minor earthquake, South Carolina. As well as a couple sizable earthquakes here off the coast of the United States and through California, Southern California. Looks like it was a 3.4 and as well a 3.4 in Oregon. Seismicity increasing here through Alaska as well. Just recently there was a 4.1 in Nikolskoy, Alaska. Kuril Islands as well seeing activity east of Japan. 4.6 for both of those. As well, an earthquake here right into the South China Sea. Shanghanguan, China. Philippines, also seeing a sizable 4.5 in Hukai, Philippines. And Indonesia today, very active. Pretty deep earthquake through the region. We had Ambon, Indonesia, 348 kilometer depth as well. Banda Sea, 
So pretty active day across the planet as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. And I thank you all for tuning in today. Much love. And I'm going to say hi to people who are in the chat stream, the live chat right now. Hello, BC. And as well, hello, Positive Vibes Jack. You're both in here. And as well, Alan Lewis. Welcome. And welcome everybody. Welcome all the new faces to the channel. And thank you for subscribing, hitting that like button and possibly sharing with your friends and family from around the world. Very busy planet. Very busy sun as well. So we're going to have a quick look at the solar x-ray flux. As you can see, it jumped right up into X class and it's took a bit to come down, very elongated pulse, but now we're back into C range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 278 kilometers per second. And right here are three strong radio blackout storm as forecasted. Going to give a quick check here on the National Buoy Center. National data for buoys. Make sure that there was no tsunamis with this large earthquake. And it does not look like there was. It's quite a far ways inland, that 6.8 earthquake. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but you never know. As well, give a quick look here at the Schumann residence for today. See if that has calmed down at all. Looks like a power of 21. So yeah, still a, a quiet hum across our planet right now. With an amplitude of 21. And not much has changed since last night's forecast in regards to weather. It's mostly earthquakes and space weather that we were, we are talking about and updating today. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. This has been Mike with your Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, and as well. Actually, let's give a quick look here at the volcano situation, give an update on any new volcanoes that have erupted today. Take a moment to thank everybody for your subscriptions and as well support to the channel, daily events worldwide. Really appreciate the love, donations, memberships, super chats, really helps to further research and development with this channel. Let's have a quick look here at the volcano is getting updated today. More tornado warnings across uh, Wisconsin today as well. So heads up, Wisconsin. We're looking at Nevada, Ruas in Colombia. Semeru, Indonesia. Raventador in Ecuador. Semis Nepochnoi, United States, up into Alaska there. Krakatoa, Indonesia. Sangay, Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. This is all in the past five hours. So active day for volcanoes as well. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated just in the past 10 hours. Dokono in Indonesia, Ibu as well in the last 24 hours. Now Pacific Disaster Center did, as a precautionary measure, they did put out the Tsunami Watch for the Juji province of Argentina. So Tsunami Watch was put up into the West Coast as well, Hawaiian Islands. But no tsunami was imminent. Quick update here on the most recent tornado watches and warnings. It looks like they are watches this evening. 
Green Bay, Wisconsin, as well as La Grosse and Milwaukee. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these storms, earthquakes, and as well quite possibly being affected by space weather in our electromagnetic field, as it is all connected to our hearts and our minds. So again, thank you everybody. I appreciate you tuning in today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, come on into the live stream at any time and check up on our planet and all latest updates. Much love and bye-bye.